ought to do it. Now just press that button and you can talk to your secretary. I'm like that. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Mrs. Uh, Wiggins. Uh, could you come in here a minute and show you something here? <laughs> Got this uh, new intercom system installed right into the two offices uh, here. You have one and I have one right here. Uh, when I call, you see, you can uh, whiz right in here now like that. So here's how this operates. Now, when you talk, you just press that button like that and just uh, talk right into there. And then when you listen, you just listen. You think you got that now? Sure. All right, so then if I need you, I'll call you on that intercom system. Well, you can go now. Okay. Uh, Mrs. Huggins, I wonder if you could come in here now. I'd like to dictate a letter to you. <laughs> Uh, Mrs. Huggins, I wonder if uh, you could uh, come in. Hello? <laughs> uh, Mrs. Huggins, I wonder Hello? if... Hello? <laughs> uh, Mrs. Huggins, I wonder Hello? if... Hello? Hello? <laughs> Mrs. Huggins, down the press down on your button when I'm talking. Hello? <laughs> Could you come in here now? Uh, dear Mr. Del Mar, uh, in the regards to your letter of the 25th, <laughs> I feel uh, that a written uh, reply is in the keeping with the uh, company policy uh, rather than uh, seeing you in the person. And so I am uh, forwarding uh, this letter at this time to you. <laughs> Are you going to memorize this? <laughs> Oh, I wasn't aware that you were going to dictate a letter. Well, I said that on the intercom when I talked to you. I told you I would come in here and going to dictate that, scratch that letter out. Well, I didn't hear that. I said that. I guess you want me to get my pad. That would be a good idea. I guess I should get it now. That's even a better idea. I'll get my pet. Right. Yeah. There's a Mr. Delmar on the phone. You want to talk to him? Uh, no, I don't want to talk to him at this time, Mrs. Wiggins. That's why I wanted to dictate this letter so it doesn't have Hello? to. Hello? <laughs> I don't want to talk to him now, Mrs. Hello? <laughs> don't press that button when I'm talking, Mrs. Wiggins. Hello? <laughs>
Mrs. Huggins, could you come in here now? Oh. And, uh, <laughs> I'd like to dictate that letter now to you, Mrs. Hello? <laughs> Come on, right in here now. Hello, hello. Guess what you don't have. <laughs> you don't have your uh, pad, the Mrs. Huggins. Well, I just said I didn't know if you wanted me to bring it in again. And I asked you on the intercom if you wanted me to bring it in again, and I didn't hear you say that you wanted me to bring in the pad again, so I didn't bring it in again. That's because you're holding your button down again, the Mr. Wiggins. I'd like it to get you to that pad now, if you don't mind. I'll go get the pad. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule. <laughs> Mrs. Huggins, also, could you bring in that the Collier file, please? I wanted to compare those figures uh, with the, the Delmar file. What? I said, that could you bring in the Collier file? I want to compare those figures in there with that project against the Delmar project. We could have that in there. You bring that file in here now so we can have that. You got that. <laughs> Mrs. Huygens? Yes? I want to uh, have that the Collier file. It... <laughs> Just a minute, let's see. <clears throat> Mrs. Huygens, can you hear me? Why, sure. <laughs> I don't mean the why sure like that. I mean that can you hear me on the top? See, maybe you didn't understand how this is supposed to work. I'll explain this one more time to you. <laughs> starting to get steamed over this. Now, when you talk, you just press that button and you talk. When you listen, you just listen. Right now, let's see if you got that. Mrs. Huygens, can you hear me? <laughs> this is a getting almost a comical. <laughs> I'm a beginning to laugh at you myself on this one. <laughs> I'm going to explain this to you one more time that you watch real good here. Hello, Mrs. Wiggins, how you doing? I'm doing real good, the how's yours up? Not too bad, but my knee hurts. Well, why don't you go home and soak it? Well, I might do that later. Now, you see how that works back and forth like that? All right, now, say something to me. Can you hear me? <laughs> I do 
on the main like that, I mean into that box. Now you, you ask me something into that box. Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> that's not asking me something, that's a telling me something. I don't want you to tell me something on there. I said to ask me. I don't want to know about Mary and the dumb lamb. <laughs> I want to know if I'm here out having coffee. Now, don't the dumb lamb. Now listen to me carefully. Get out of here and don't ever talk to me unless you're talking to me on that box. <laughs> and Mrs. Wiggins, can you hear me? Yes. I told you. Don't talk to me unless you talk to me on that box. You have mine. <laughs> I'm not going to use this again. <laughs> to call that guy tomorrow and get the jack back on those things. That's too much money to invest into a dumb thing. That don't work at all, so I call him up and need help. I'm going to lunch now. 